Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm out and about actually and I've decided that I wanted to make a video. It's about time I actually did it too because I have had a new set of filters actually sent to me by Nisi Global. So they reached out to me and said would I like to try their new V7 system. Now I'd heard of the V5 and the V6, didn't know there was a V7. So of course I said, do you know what? Yes, please send it over to me and I'll give it a go. And I wanted to make a review in relation to it because I actually do think there's a couple of nice unique things about this filter system that I haven't personally come across before. With the system that Nisi has sent me, it is the new V7 and it has a couple of unique features which I'd like to go through and show you, I suppose, the advantages that are there in relation to this system. So the first thing that it has is that you have a little adapter ring that you put onto the front of your lens and that becomes the holding part then for the main system to attach to. Now I got a different couple of different sizes actually that can fit the different uh, lenses that I would have and once you just screw that on then your filter, your lens is actually ready then to be able to receive the filter system. So the first thing then that it has is a adapter ring which you basically screw on to the front of your lens and that's pretty straightforward to screw on and once that on, that's on then it allows you then to be able to attach the polarizer and the polarizer that they have is their new technology and I believe that it's a true color polarizing system. Now a polarizer is there to reduce glare and also as well bring out more natural colors that you will see in foliage and stuff like that and what I've noticed with using it so far is that there's absolutely no color cast whatsoever from this polarizing filter. So it is actually really, really good. It's true to form and saying that it's true color because I've used ones in the past that you can get a different type of hue and such like that that can come from the filter. There is none whatsoever in relation to this one. To attach the polarizer, it's pretty straightforward. You align the two white marks and then give it a small bit of a twist and now it's locked into place. And the beauty of this system as well then is that once that's in place on the actual holding ring, you have a couple of dials that are on the back of that. So you can adjust the polarization very simply by turning those dials. In past systems that I use, I had to manually turn the polarizer and that was quite difficult at times to be able to get that right. Whereas now, you don't have to go around to the front of the camera or anything like that, just a quick, turn of the dial at the back and it adjusts the polarizer then for what you want it for in the scene. The next step then from that is you can attach then onto that a filter holder. So it's a 100mm filter holder. Now the disadvantage that I had said about the case system is that the graduated filter wasn't really working for me and I'd still use an ordinary drop-in graduated filter. Whereas now with this system here because it's 100mm I can use all of my existing filters but I also got a couple of the new filters as well and they're pretty straightforward to be able to just drop into the front. They'll sit right in front of the polarizer and you can still adjust the polarizer then as well when that's on the front of the holder. Now another advantage in relation to the graduated filters is this is one actually that's here as you can see here the graduation that's there but it's actually made of glass and the problem that I had with my last set of filters is they were resin and they'd scratch easy whereas glass I think will be a bit more resistant anyway to this. Now obviously it's glass if you drop it I think it has a higher chance of actually breaking but still it's much much better cleaner as well because when you think about this you're spending an absolute fortune on lenses on the glass that you put in front of your sensor and then you put a piece of resin in front of that as well it can degrade the image whereas with this being high quality glass it's actually really good because you don't get any damage or anything like that de degradation to the image itself overall. Now this filter system as well comes with a very very nice set of packaging I must say and within that packaging you get a free case so that's a case that you can hold your whole filter system within and it's much easier then to be able to put that in your bag none of it's going to get damaged and it's always going to be in good condition. And on top of that what Nisi also sent me was this filter case here which will allow me then to be able to store these filters within this case. It's actually very well made. You've got a bit of um, filter filing system within that as well and all those filters then won't touch each other and they won't get damaged as well. So overall a very very good system. Now also the new lens adapter actually has a very very nice system here on the back of it. I believe on the previous ones you had two dials, one either side here, one to be able to take it on and off and then the other to be able to tighten it in. But now what they've done is they've actually done this in one go. So there's a little secondary dial that's here, you tighten that or loosen that and that then makes it secure in relation to how it goes on to the front of the adapter. You then to take it off, loosen it out and then it allows you to be able to pull this ever so slightly which releases a small bit of a mechanism that's here is what clamps it onto the actual holder and it's much easier then as well to be able to put on and off and you don't have the fear of as well of it falling off. 
Another advantage known as well that you have with this system is that it comes with this, which is a lens cap. And you can actually leave that whole polarizing and uh, system on the front of your lens and then just place this over the front of it. So you don't have to be faffing around with taking a lot of stuff on and off. You can leave that on the front of the camera and then all you're doing is putting on the 100mm adapter when you want to add, if you want to add, some graduated filters. So overall I think it's a very very well thought out system. Looks like it's really really good quality as well and the images that I've taken with it thus far have been really really good. I saw no color cast whatsoever so the true color I think is actually what it says on the tin it is true color and more importantly as well I think for me is that it would allow me now as well to be able to go back to the style of seascape photography that I'd normally would have taken shots of because I can adjust the graduated ND based on wherever I've got the camera facing to the sea and that's mostly what I would do is seascape photography as you can see I'm here by the sea at the moment so what I'll do now is I'll give you a quick look here of how the system will actually work um, so I'll record some image actually from my main camera and I'll show you then as well as I'm taking that and putting the filter in and out what it actually does to the image here's the scene now that I'm looking at here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the ring on the side of the adapter and that's going to allow me then to change the point of the polarization and if you look at the sky you will see the sky changing now the sun is pretty much 90 degrees to my right but what it's doing effectively is it taking away the haze that you're seeing here and the glare now if there's something in front of me as well here what that's also going to do is darken that down as you can see with the sand and then if I move it again the sand will actually get brighter so as I bring this around you'll see it I'll do it faster here so you can actually see the polarizing effect that is doing on the image now next I'm going to introduce the graduated ND and I'm using here a soft nano 0.9 graduated ND and as I bring that in here you will see if I just make sure I straighten that up you will see now that the sky is going to become darker and that's going to enable me then to be able to control the highlights that will be there in the sky. Now I can adjust that which is the beauty of this I can adjust that whenever so slightly as I want to adjust that depending on where the horizon will be. If the horizon is going to be lower I can bring it all the way down here but more importantly I just want to be able to have this. Now if I bring this and zoom out as you can see then you have more of the sky and then I can actually change that and control the light then as well that's there but more importantly there's nothing much changing in relation to the color all it's doing is it's taking that glare off the sky and then revealing the clouds so what are my overall thoughts in this system actually quite interesting to be honest with you and um, like I said the true color is true color I really do like this uh, system we not being able to get back in again and dropping in a graduated ND filter I got three different types of them as well and I've played around with a couple of them they're quite interesting I think you know it's good like I said to be able to have that flexibility to be able to capture my shot in one go because without having graduated ND if you've got a sky and you're trying to do some seascapes you have to do two different shots I suppose one for the sky and then one for the foreground whereas with having a graduated ND filter you now have control to be able to do that in one shot will I continue to use them absolutely I think I will from a system point of view it is very very interesting thing um, would I recommend it I think so yeah I think so I mean look I was given these by Nisi Global um, but I wasn't told that I had to say anything whatsoever it's just purely my own thoughts in relation to them and on this channel I won't even talk about anything unless I actually use it and like it myself and I think this is something that I'm going to continue to use so I hope you've enjoyed this episode and um, let me know in the comments actually what you think of the filter system have you got them yourselves any questions that you may have as well if I don't know the answers I'll reach out to the guys in Nisi and I'm sure they'll be able to answer that question for you but yeah as an overall filter system for landscape photography I think it's very very good so if it's the first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time schlong the fall